with that, I'm going to ask Ms. Stephanie, uh, our clerk, if she would introduce our guest and all who would provide the invitation, uh, and then also the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, board members. Uh, tonight we have with us providing our invitation is co-pastor Dr. Sonia Scott. She's at the PNC Ministries in Titan. Um, Co-Pastor Scott works extensively with the youth and takes great pride in serving her community. She loves her community. We'll welcome Co-Pastor Scott. So, so thank you for this opportunity. Let us bow our heads. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity to meet together to be able to discern and to make decisions of wisdom about the matters that are at hand. Lord, we thank you right now, God, for giving us um, bright heartedness and energy, God, as we begin to execute this business with wisdom and clarity and great insight. We're so thankful for all the guests, for all each person that comes forward. Ask them to be able to um, be able to speak clearly, to be able to communicate effectively, so that we can do what is good for the community. We thank you right now to cause our hearts to love those things that you love, be able to hate the things that you hate, for the good of our county. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. And with us is Co-Pastor Scott's son. Isaiah Scott, who is an active voyage member in the ninth grade at South Birmingham High School. He serves as the chair of the educational program for the 2018-19 voyage leadership team. Isaiah is a Georgia 4-H certified team leader and participates in wildlife and marine science project for project achievement. Isaiah, you will step to the mic and lead us in. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Consideration and of course I want to approve the resolution to approve the agenda and I believe our clerk has a and we have one item that just came up at the very last minute. Yes, Mr. Chairman. If you all will check your additional check material folder, behind your agenda is material for what we wish to add as new business number twelve. That's on page two of your agenda. It's consideration to approve a grant to be awarded from the Georgia Common Care Network for EMS. Okay, we have the gym before us with the uh, additional one item. We have a motion to accept the number with the addition of number 12. Make a motion to approve with the addition of number 12. Second. Motion on Mr. Lowe to approve the agenda with the addition of number 12. Second by Mr. Keeper. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed no. And we've got an agenda. Next item is consideration to approve the minutes of the May 1st, 2018 regular commissioners meeting. I've read those minutes and find them to be an active record and get off to the uh, order of the commission to reconvene and the motion for executive session is to be approved. But on that, there are no other corrections that I know that we need to the board. Motion to approve. Okay, right, to approve the analysis for Second. Motion Mr. Floyd, second by Mr. Lover to approve the minutes. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed no. I'm staying on that because I'm going to see executive. We got executive? No, this is regular. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed no. Any cares? Thank you. Uh, thank the public for being here tonight. It's always good to see people involved in their community and would like to be involved in the Ask you if you have any comments to the agenda items on. We have a lot to cover tonight. We have an executive session. We've got to come back for the zoning hearing. So we're going to try to keep it moving as much as possible. Keep your comments if you can for a couple minutes. I'll allow others who might want to speak tonight to also do that as well. And the documents that you know are located in the clerk's office and on our website. If you've got a chance to review those, they're always there for us to time. So you can prepare for the meeting as well. 
With that, we'll go to our consent agenda. There are four items on our consent agenda. I'll read those items and I'll entertain a motion to approve our consent agenda. <coughs> Number one is consideration to approve uh, to agree to bring the of understanding with FMM Board of Education for the use of schools as disaster shelters. Item um, two on the consent agenda is consideration to approve to renew the general agreement with Custodial Services Incorporated for space in the FMM County Annex. Item um, three is consideration to approve amended agreements with Constellation Energy Gas Choice LLC. Forming MX Energy Incorporated for fiscal year 2017-2018. Previous to approve 5-1-2018. <clears throat> consideration to approve, the next item is consideration to approve an agreement with EBNT Investment Management, also previous to approve 5-1-2018. Yes, motion for the motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. Mm -hmm. Motion by Mr. Kiefer, second Mr. Loper to approve the consent agenda. As presented, all in favor say aye. Aye. All in favor is no. And it carries. Moving into new business, we have a consideration to approve the resolution to adopt five fees. Mr. Chairman, uh, I talked to uh, Gabe this morning, and we talked about this here. He, wanted, he also wanted, I did, and he wanted also to table this to the next meeting. Okay. So you're making a motion to table this? Yes, sir. I have a motion by Mr. Loper to table item number one. Is there a second? What's the, is there a hold up or? I'll tell you what, if you get a second, we can discuss it and vote to see what the reason for it. I'll say. I'll have a second to table. Then we'll have a discussion to see if we can pick a is there do you have a question over here? Um, is this going to hold us up in any way? Yes, sir. Uh, I will say I, I didn't want to question what I had a conversation with Jenny today in which he didn't say about tabling it, but he did tell me that he definitely was not in favor of the 10 cent, um, which I think he had mentioned yesterday, but when I talked to him today, he didn't say he needed to table it, but he said he did want to do 10 cent. Um, Yes, I mean, basically, Commissioner uh, Deloach has also expressed my uh, his displeasure with the 10 cent for the, the forestry. And basically, that's a charge that the Georgia Forestry Commission charges us. I'll tell you what, uh, before you get into discussion of fire fees, let's see if we have a motion to table. We have a motion to second the table. Any other questions about moving forward? We'll take a vote. We'll get voted down and we'll continue to. Well, if we don't table, we can talk about it. Exactly. We, we may turn it down, but we can talk about it. Yeah, did any audience come specifically for our fees discussion? I just want to bring that up. Yeah. Let's see if you want to table or not. Uh, if you want to table, we'll be on the agenda and we'll discuss it. Don't worry, you can table it. But I understand that it's it's critical for the question to our for badges, I'm saying? Yes, sir. It's it's uh, basically we've put this on tonight's agenda specifically be at the request of uh, uh, Tax Commissioner Linda McDaniel and uh, Tax Assessor Janice Battle because they have to set the, the, the payments to go out and it takes some programming to get done. We're making changes to the fire fees based on the square footage amount rather than employee base. And therefore, the, the, the timing is critical, and if we get at a later date, um, it could impact that. Furthermore, um, okay, let me, let, me, let me say something. The reason I was going to do it is on account of acreage and forestry and agriculture. You take that off, and, and I'll make a motion to approve it. But I'm not doing it with, with that on there. Okay, that's the that's, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a motion, motion to second to table it. You're all in favor of table it, say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. Motion carries. Thank you. 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 Yeah, we, this is, this is what allows us to go through discussion to raise the concerns. But if, 
Pull the stuff out. Yeah, we table it. Table, 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 his wife's grandfather died and he's in Wake Cross, Georgia. And he said, well, right. make sure you don't okay it with that on there. So I'm gonna just table it. I didn't know it was no big big deal for it, you know. I want to put it on their last meeting there. So if, if you want to discuss it tonight, you just need to put a motion down and discuss that. I mean, you don't approve it, just because we're going to discuss it. It's all in favor of table this to another meeting, say aye. Aye. All opposed? So you, we don't need to discuss it. Is that what you mean? Well, I think Jamie obviously wants to discuss it. Oh, yeah. Jamie, all you want to do, and we discuss it, we're going to move to Tennessee. We want the last thing on there. The rest. The thing that was added on here, the only thing he wants off, not the solar farm, but the bottom thing, the acreage and forestry and agriculture. He wants that off. He doesn't want to up here, it's that on there. Very simple. You can take that off. We need to run down the motion to take it. We'll make the motion to approve. The only thing that the motion last call. All favor of the motion to table, say aye. Aye. All opposed to the motion to table, say opposed to it, say no. Aye. Aye. Those have it, so we can generally still be able to discuss any yeah. item related to the fire that we want to discuss. You have yet to question this one. What you brought up about the fire feet. The, uh, the last one, that's what Jamie didn't want, and that's what I didn't want. Okay. And what is the cost for the, uh, is it the larger cost that we have to the county? Well, and, and that's what I was going to tell you. This is the, the Tencent Fire Base. It's really just a pass-through for the Forestry Commission. This is a, a very, very small percentage of, of our fire fees. It's about $26,000 is what our payment was last year. I'm not exactly sure what the total would be for next year, but it would be somewhere in that room with some cost of living on there. But, um, you know, it's, it's a very minor issue within the grander scheme. The, the actual fire fees are critical. But the, the acreage, I was, it was added because it, it was a pastor, it was a charge for us, and we, I felt like it was important to, for it to be equitable, um, not just for one particular district, but for the county as a whole. But, you know, it's, it is not a critical mass on that one item. You can remove that and it wouldn't, you know, affect it. But, but do know that we're setting the budget, and the budget is, is heavily weighted on fire, and that's why these fire fees are critical to do right now. Fire fees, the rest of them I don't have a problem with. And, and that's what I, I basically have to say. Concerned about the uh, forestry fire, I'm just going to wait here, then I'll get a popular way in. But uh, I'm for some kind of forestry, so if you want to remove it, I'm good with that too. But for this reason, on 1,000 acres at 10 cents, that's $100. And in my opinion, the fire that we fight for the forest for people to invest in timber. $100 for 1,000 acres is a small price to pay. We're already paying this cost to our state. Uh, we're just recouping that cost. And we're driving ISO ratings down. And I know we're going to be increasing firefighters. What, how many firefighters we had this year? I think 12. 12 firefighters. So our costs are going up. Uh, my contention would be that our constituents would, would probably profit to a lower insurance because we're going to continue to lower our ISO. That what we would charge, they're going to eventually get back. A thousand acres, a hundred dollars to protect your timber, it's not a reasonable charge. For me, it's going to be four dollars for my daily acres. Not all the farmers, but these big farmers that farm all this land, they have a kind of major anyway sometimes, so it covers them too. It's all the acreage. Well, it's supposed to be farmers. One of the biggest farmers we have, probably the first farm is 3,500, 4,000 acres, and we're talking about 400 dollars to protect all this farm. 400 dollars is a lot of meat. It is a lot, but, but there's a lot of cost to protect that. It would be my, you know, I mean, should they not pay anything? I mean, everybody else would require to pay. That's my, that would be my contention. What about the current residential fire fee? The, the current one is $90, and what we're proposing in the fire fee is a modest increase to 100 And, and again, that's an actual fee charge. Also, the, the 10 cent is an actual charge that we're paying as a county. For that, that's correct. And in variance, that doesn't cost, include the cost we incur in house. That's correct. That's just what's. But, but again, I don't think it's a critical portion of the, the overall fire fees. That, that's the thing that I would just like to say. It's such a novel fee compared to the coverage and protection of the class. Okay. Make it. Is it that 22 I don't, I don't disagree, but, I, but I have, I'll have a hard time voting to go up on every residential home in the unincorporated area and not equitably across the board. 
That, that's my argument. Well, they, they don't pay that much, dogs. Plus, they don't have to pay this for two dollars. So. How many thousand acres? Yeah, on the horse we do now. Out of curiosity, as I said, the payment to the Forest Street Commission was twenty-six thousand dollars in this year's budget. So that's that's countywide. So it's it's really a very very small amount. But, and as uh, the chairman said, if, it, if you've got a thousand acres, we're talking about a hundred dollars, which would match a residential. That'd be a lot. Do you have any parcels make up that twenty-six thousand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, you know what I'm saying? Are there any people that are very heavily hit because? They have a high percentage of that. I don't, know. I, I, I don't have that data in front of me, but I can tell you that it's I mean, most of those very, very large tracts are the, the timber companies and that, but we do have some agricultural ones that are you know, several hundred acres. But yeah, almost suggest suggest this to us because Jamie's not here, he'd like to speak to it. If you want to pull that item off tonight so we can get these fees set up, I'd like to have it back on the agenda for the next meeting to discussion with us if you did that. Do we bring everything except that? Yes. How much that'll help with the digest with it? It would only offset at $26,000. Well, that's what basically what I'm saying. Just right. remove it and if, if the board wants to revisit it at a later date um, when, when Commissioner Deloach is here. I think the thing is Commissioner Deloach, which is shared by the case and I'll continue to speak to it. So I'll be, I'll well, in fairness to me, just understand, I'm I'm going to have some heartburn not knowing that we're that we be you. equitable. Okay. So I may not be able to support that. So what is the extra um, ten dollars on residential for what is the total amount on it? If the ten cent is twenty six thousand, and then the question about residential, what is it bringing? That with, with all of the changes, okay, I don't, I don't have it broken down by each class on how much we're, we're getting. I just happen to know what the payment was for the Fort Street Commission. But the overall increase is, is about 480000 I believe, which is less than half of what our increase in fire costs are going to be this year. You don't know what, what, what percentage of that is the commercial and industrial versus the Residential, do you have it kind of that way? Yeah, um, do you, you have that data? Okay. Um, basic, basically, I mean, residential is the predominant amount of it. I mean, we've got 17,000 residents in that. that so, two million dollars. That's $6,000, right? $15,000. Yeah. So, yes. So, so, that, that would be inaccurate. I mean, as close as possible. I've gone through all these fees, and I'm just going to suggest that we have a work shop.
question you guys for us, you want to put it in the experience so you can look at it? I, mean, I don't want to put it on the top of that. If you can see, we can always hang on to that point if you feel like you still have that. We don't have to table. We'll just come back to this agenda out of that there. Well, I guess another option would be if it's critical, then you can call it special meeting. I hate to do that. But, again, that's another option. What she said. Why don't we do this? Why don't you, uh, in the break, pull that, uh, the comparisons of the other city is all this time. All right. If you can, then we'll We're going to move on to the next agenda. I'm going to reach the whole this one. Come back to the further procedure. Item mm -hmm. number two, under new business, is going to come back to item number one. It's consideration to approve the 2018 and 2020 GFM County multi hazard mitigation plan update and a Resolution to adopt the plan. Uh, Mr. Chairman and Commission, Clint Hodges, Fire Chief, NEMA Director. Um, over the past about 16 months now, we've been working um, in conjunction with the cities as well as several of our outside partners like uh, Health System, the IDA, Red Cross, Public Health, um, to draft this uh, multi jurisdictional hazard mitigation plan. Um, and this plan is required by FEMA to be eligible for federal funding, um, not only for mitigation projects, but also in the event we have a disaster like we've dealt with the past two years. Um, so we've updated, we've used this, we've met with the counts, um, the committee, the update committee, um, basically once a month for 16 months, and we've updated this plan. Um, and the biggest change we've made has been we changed our hazard risk areas. Um, we placed additional focus on tropical weather and flooding because um, naturally we've dealt with two hurricanes, um, a winter storm, a tornado. So naturally they've made it a little higher on the priority list. Um, we also looked at making sure we put in there uh, the backup water supply, for example, the Atlas Reservoir, um, the ash roads, how we dealt with damage after the winter storm. Um, public awareness and hardening some of our infrastructure, making sure that um, we've included generators and lift stations into the into the plan, so that it makes it eligible that we can go after grant funding for these types of projects. Um, so the city of Rankin, excuse me, the city of Springfield and Guyton have both approved resolutions in support of this plan, um, and it goes to the city of Rankin May the 21st. So can I answer any questions? We learned some things. The last two years, we absolutely did. There was a lot of information that was added on that. Any, any questions or discussions for our fire chief? If that was one of them. There's a recommendation to approve alternative one, which is to approve the FM County Multi Hazard Mitigation Plan. Make a motion to approve all of number one. Motion by Mr. Wilkins. Second, Mr. Floyd, to approve alternative number one. All favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, no. 